okay now let me take a next example suppose 15 upon 26 into 10 months average salary into number of years of service if you have calculated this formula okay and the amount is and the amount which is calculated is uh, suppose 3 lakhs rupees only 3 lakhs the amount is 3 lakhs remember ha huh? second amount is 20 lakhs maximum amount is 20 lakhs and third amount actual gratuity is received is 5 lakhs what amount of gratuity that you have received is 5 lakhs now three three amounts are there 3 lakhs 20 lakhs 5 lakhs Which is the least one? Five lakh. No, which is the least? Least. 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 Ha. Bada. Least. Nay, least. Mata sabse chota. Ha ha. Least. Least. Mata sabse chota amount kaun sa? Lowest. Lowest. You have three amounts here. Three lakhs. Ten lakhs. Sorry. Three lakhs. Twenty lakhs. Five lakhs. Three amounts. Three lakhs. Ha. Three lakhs is the shortest. Is the lowest amount, and that will be exempted. Okay. From which amount it will be exempted? The amount which is actually received. What is actually received? What is the amount that you have received from your employer? Come on, tell me. कितना अमाउंट था जो आपने एम्प्लॉयर आपके एम्प्लॉयर ने आपको दिया कोई आंसर नहीं कर रहा रिस्पांस तो दो सिर्फ शुभम आंसर कर रहा है आपको यस आपको आपके एम्प्लॉयर से फाइव लैक्स रुपीस मिला था जो हमने कंडीशंस में डाला था एक्चुअल ग्रेचुटी रिसीव फाइव लैक्स ठीक है एक अमाउंट फाइव लैक्स था एक अमाउंट ट्वेंटी लैक्स था एंड थर्ड अमाउंट था आपका थ्री लैक्स रुपीज जो ये आपने फॉर्मुला से निकाला उसमें से जो सबसे छोटा अमाउंट था थ्री लैक्स वो एग्जाम्पेड हो जाएगा किस में से एग्जाम्पेड हो जाएगा किस में से एग्जाम्पेड होगा फ्रॉम वेर इट विल बी एग्जाम्पेड फ्रॉम विच अमाउंट इट विल बी एग्जाम्पेड फ्रॉम द अमाउंट दैट यू हैव रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयर कितना मिला है एम्प्लॉयर से हाउ मच यू हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉयर फाइव लैक्स ओके रिसीव अमाउंट इज फाइव लैक्स एंड एग्जाम्पेड अमाउंट इज थ्री लैक्स सो वॉट इज टैक्सीबल Two lakh. Yes. So this is I was trying to explain you. Okay. I have given you two examples wherein the fir the first case says nothing is ex nothing is taxable. Five lakhs minus five lakhs because the the lowest amount of all three was five lakhs and the amount received was also five lakhs. Therefore, nothing was taxable. taxable here the lowest amount of all three uh, options is from all three options the lowest amount is 3 lakhs as per now as per the example number 2 therefore what we have received from employer is 5 lakhs exempted amount is 3 lakhs taxable amount is 2 lakhs so in that case whole amount will not be taxable okay now let's take third in the case of other employees other means who are not government employees and who are not covered under gratuity act 1972 so they are other employees for other employees there is there is again same thing three options there are three options least of least means lowest lowest of all three options will be considered as exempted amount lowest of all see written here least least of the three options least it will be taken and it will be exempted now the formula is look at this bracket half into you have to take half 0.5 you can take that way or 50% you can take or half you can write half into 10 months average salary same that way into number of years of service fraction to be ignored means i will give you example suppose you have worked for 46 years and 9 months so you can take 47 years or you can ignore the fraction point point 9 months the 9 months is extra no 46.9 you can ignore point 9 and take only 47 
or take only 46 ignore the fraction are you guys understanding are you guys uh, i mean uh, able to understand yes, this okay so fraction ignore means yes, 46 ma years 9 months 4 days so 9 months and 4 days hardly matters you can take only 46 years so i want only years i don't want months and uh, and uh, days okay so what will be the formula 1 upon 2 there it was 15 upon 26 see now here it is 1 by 2 into 10 months average salary into completed years of service okay and the second amount is 20 lakhs remember this is 20 lakhs and third amount is actual gratuity received there are three different amounts the least of the least of the three will be considered as exempted amount let's take an example let's take an example suppose i have taken actually actually what i received in my hand from my employer is 6 lakh rupees remember ha huh, you have to answer me the employer yes, gives me the gratuity of rupees 6 lakhs how much? Six lakh. Very good. So the so the first amount that I will take here out of three, the first condition is these are the three conditions. Okay. The first condition is yes, actual amount received. It is six lakh. What is second condition? Maximum twenty lakh. So I will take twenty lakh. And third, third I will I will have to calculate. Nothing will be directly given. Third I will have to calculate. What is the formula of third? Half into 10 months average salary into completed years of service. So suppose I calculate this way. Huh? 1 by 2 means half into 10 months average salary uh, into completed years of service. I calculated and my answer was, suppose my answer was uh, 2 lakhs. Suppose my answer was? 2 lakhs. 2 lakhs. So tell me what is the least of all? 2 lakhs. Yes, 6 lakhs, 20 lakhs, 2 lakhs. There are three figures. What amount you will select for exemption? Yes, what amount you will risk? You 2 will lakhs. Select. Yes, we will select 2 lakhs rupees for exemption because it is the lowest amount of all the three items, all the three conditions. Okay, now 2 lakhs will be exempted, deducted. From which amount it will be deducted? From that amount. Five lakh or six yeah, lakh. Six, yes. From the amount Actual. that you have received from the employer. Actually received. You have received in your hand rupees six lakhs. What is exempted? Two lakhs. So what will be taxable? Four lakh. Simple. Very good. Out of six lakhs, two lakhs is exempted. And therefore, four lakhs will be taxable. 4 lakhs is not the amount that you have to pay the tax. No. On 4 lakhs, the tax will be applicable. 4 lakhs is not the amount of tax that you have to pay. No. On the income of 4 lakhs rupees, the tax will be applicable. Are you getting the difference between? Yes, so gratuity section 10, subsection 10 says there are three there are three different partitions. If you are a government employee, very simple, don't apply any formula. Even, even like if you have just noticed that he's a government employee and if gratuity comes there, you have to simply write how much you have received 20 lakhs, 20 lakhs minus 20 lakhs, wholly exempted outer column nil, taxable nil. Nothing will be taxable to government employee. Achha, he has received 80 lakhs. Wholly exempted. 80 lakhs minus 80 lakhs outer column nil. He has received 2 lakhs. 2 lakhs minus 2 lakhs completely exempted. Outer column nil. Because outer column we have to show the taxable amount. No. So taxable amount is nil. Zero. Because he is a government employee. Nothing will be taxable to him. Wholly exempted. Completely exempted. Completely free of tax. So whatever he receives, no, short, I mean a, a small amount, big amount, whatever he receives in crores, in lakhs of rupees, 
everything will be exempted. Okay, in the name of gratuity, because it's a government entity. If he is covered under gratuity at 1972, three options are given to you. Apply those three conditions, calculate the amount, and compare all the amounts, all the three amounts. Consider the least of all the three as the exempted one. And third part is other employees. Again, apply three different conditions. Calculate the question answers figures, and then consider the least of all these three figures. The least will be exempted. And remember, this is not ten lakh; this is twenty lakhs. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You can write down this formula afterwards. Then my answer will be over. Yes. मैम सब लोग मैसेज कर रहे हैं बोल रहे कि लाइक नहीं इसके लिए ज्वाइन नहीं हो पा रहे कोई बात नहीं ना तो रिकॉर्डिंग तो है ही तो वो सुन सकते हैं ना ठीक है यस इट इज एज गुड एज लेक्चर ओनली नो द रिकॉर्डिंग तो बिल्कुल सुन ही सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है उनको बोल दो ठीक है चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं अभी कम्यूटेड पेंशन अब पेंशन सबसे पहले तो पेंशन होता क्या है उसके बाद हम समझेंगे ना अनकम्यूटेड और कम्यूटेड क्या होता ठीक है तो सबसे पहले हम समझ लेते हैं कि पेंशन क्या अब पेंशन क्या होता है जब आप रिटायर होते हो वेन यू रिटायर फ्रॉम योर सर्विस फ्रॉम योर जॉब यू रिसीव अ रिटायरमेंट अमाउंट ऑन योर रिटायरमेंट यू रिसीव अ लमसम अमाउंट मे बी मे बी नॉट लमसम ग्रेचुटी इज लमसम हाँ पेंशन मे और मे नॉट बी लमसम द वे यू ऑप्ट फॉर Okay, it will be given to you the way you opt for. So it is received on the retirement. So very important, it is received on the retirement. Okay, so pension ha again has it has divided into two parts: government employee, private employee. Remember very, very, very carefully. If it is government employee, it is fully exempted. Or if you want, I can give you a chart here. Okay. Third is pension, and the section is section ten, subsection ten A, capital A. Okay. Now, uh, I will. I will Make a chart, and I will tell you. See, the pension has two parts. Okay, again, the pension has two parts: government employee and other employees. Can you see the chart? Can you see the chart here? Everybody. Yes, ma'am. It is visible, na? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see, if if pension comes here, and if he is a government employee. now again there are two different types of pensions one is commuted pension and other one is uncommuted pension again when you come to other employees now who are other employees who are not government employees are the ones who are not government employees are the one who uh, who will be termed as other employees other means private maybe working in a private company private firm okay they are not working under government they are not government employees they are private employees okay so consider there are two different employees government and others now when we talk about government employees when we talk about government employees so we have two different pensions and when we talk about private we have again two different pensions one is commuted pension and the other one is uncommuted pension uncommuted okay now what is commuted commuted means lump sum Commuted means everything which is given to you in the in 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 lump sum amount. Uncommuted means regular. Regular means maybe monthly, maybe bi-monthly, maybe quarterly, maybe six monthly, half month, half yearly. You can say. So whatever you opt, you are an employee. Employer will ask you fill the form of this pen. This is the form of pension. Fill it, fill it for me, and then he will he will uh, by filling the form he will understand. the way uh, that the way that you want to receive your pension may be commuted may be uncommuted if you want lump sum you will opt for commuted and if you want 
uncommuted and you if you want monthly pension maybe maybe six monthly pension every six months you want keep coming to you in your account so you will have to opt for uncommuted maybe you want every month because uh, because you are uh, you are uh, i mean on your salary you survive on your salary okay suppose you survive on your salary and now because you are retired therefore how will you survive if you take uh, uh, lumps i mean if you don't have a uncommuted pension if you don't have regular pension if you don't have monthly pension then how will you survive so in that case people who retire and and survive on their income or their pensions or or on their salaries and if they survive and if they retire how will they survive so in that case such case people opt for uncommuted pension people opt for uncommuted pension in that case okay so suppose you have taken up uncommuted pension it is regular or it is monthly pension you can say regular means every monthly you will be keep receiving uh, amount of pension some amount of pension okay so now remember remember this thing always remember commuted pension to government employee see commuted pension to government employee will be fully exempted see here it is written no commuted pension to government employee fully exempted can you see this thing whatever is written there i am giving you in the form of chart okay it is fully exempted to government employee commuted pension will be fully exempt are you understand are you getting my point yes ma'am okay now let us talk about government employee if he op if he is uh, taking the option of receiving the pension in the form of uncommuted in the form of uncommuted way that means if he wants to receive it in the regular form maybe monthly maybe six monthly okay if he wants that way suppose your pension is after retirement you are a government employee and your pension is 20 lakhs 20 lakhs if you want it whole lump sum amount right away at one point of time so you will opt for commuted pension so government will pay you 20 lakhs at one point of time on the spot in one time only so that amount is known as commuted pension commuted means lump sum you can write it somewhere or you want i want me to write then i will write it for you lump sum amount it is lump sum amount Okay, and this amount is regular amount. Regular means you can say monthly. Or if you want six monthly, then that will be paid to you accordingly. Now, if government employee. if he is a government employee okay and he is taking the option of uncommuted pension then the whole amount will be exempted oh, sorry taxable then the whole amount will be taxable did you understand this much is it clear now if suppose you are a government employee and you never under uh, never have a knowledge of pension section 10 sub section 10a you never have a knowledge then suppose you opt for uncommuted pension you will be at loss even after being a government employee why should you be paying tax no suppose aap government employee ho okay theek hai aur aapko bilkul knowledge nahi you don't have any knowledge about section 10 sub section 10a now suppose you don't have any knowledge so aapne kya kiya aapne na uncommuted pension ko opt kar diya you have opted for uncommuted pension so you will be at loss why because you will have to pay tax 
on whatever amount which is received by you in the name of uncommuted pension so for government employees you should never being a government employee you should never opt for uncommuted pension because it is taxable so you should have knowledge no that government employees therefore therefore chartered accountant gives you this knowledge no because he has that much knowledge people go and ask him take their advice aise nahi hum log pension ke liye bhi opt kar lete hain theek hai to jab chartered accountant ke paas hum jate hain unse hum poochte hain advice lete hain ki kaun sa pension mujhe lena chahiye commuted or uncommuted kis mein zyada fayda hoga to wo bolega aap government employee ho na to definitely go for commuted pension because it will be fully exempted no tax will be paid by you on the amount of any amount of pension that you receive any amount whatever must be the amount small or big amount okay other employees now let me come to other employees commuted pension if you are okay let me explain first for uncommuted uncommuted pension whether received by government employee or received by private employee is fully taxable is fully taxable now again again commuted pension has two different parts commuted pension has two different parts if it is received by other employees if it is received with gratuity if it is received with gratuity i have already explained you what is gratuity so suppose the employer gives you gratuity and pension suppose employer gives you gratuity and pension then then what how much it will be ex exemption will be given to you don't worry i will give you exemption you are not a government employee but still i will give you exemption like government employee gets fully uh, gets a whole amount of exemption during commuted pension other employees also gets amount of exemption so some amount of exemption while opting for commuted pension and what is that amount it is 1/3 One third of total pension received. One third of total pension is exempted. One third of total pension is exempted. Very important. Very 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 important. Definitely, this point is. I mean, they will ask you this point. definitely it is very important okay now let's take another one second now what is second without gratuity now suppose you receive it without gratuity this is without okay so if you receive it without gratuity then what amount will be exempted to you the exemption will be given to you but how much half only half half of the total pension will be exempted suppose your total pension is 5 lakhs half of 5 lakhs is 2 lakh 50 so 5 lakhs from 5 lakhs Two lakh fifty thousand will be exempted, and two lakh fifty will be taxable. Okay, this is the case without gratuity. Suppose it is with gratuity, then then how much will be exempted? Suppose you have received the total pension of five lakhs. Total pension is five lakhs. One third of total pension is what is one third of five lakhs? What is one third of five lakhs? Five lakhs into one divided by three. Three. Yes. So, what is the amount of uh, one third? What is one third of five lakhs? चलो कैलकुलेटर पे कैलकुलेट पे करो और मुझे बताओ how much is the amount? It is five lakhs into one divided by three. Ma'am, one sixty-six point one lakh sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty. Very good. So one lakh sixty-six thousand six 
यू टेक इट एज राउंड फिगर नो अभी के लिए समझाने के लिए अभी सम्स में तो जो आएगा हम फिगर वो ही लेंगे तो फिगर क्या आया वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्स सेवन राइट ठीक है तो आप क्या करेंगे फाइव लैक्स में से वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्स सेवन एग्जाम करेंगे और बाकी का टैक्सेबल हो जाएगा सो वॉट इज द रिमेनिंग अमाउंट विच इज टैक्सेबल वन लैख सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स सिक्स सेवन रुपीज इज एग्जामेड आउट ऑफ फाइव लैक्स सो वॉट इज टैक्सेबल अमाउंट तो व्हाट इज टैक्सेबल यस मैम मैम आपके आवाज में आ रहे वाकई में व्हाट इज टैक्सेबल अमाउंट आई एम आस्किंग आउट ऑफ 5 लाख 1 लाख 66667 इज एग्जाम्पटेड सो व्हाट इज टैक्सेबल अमाउंट यू जस्ट हैव टू डिडक्ट 5 लाख 3 3 लाख 33000 Three lakh thirty-six thousand. Ma'am, okay. thirty-three thousand uh, three hundred thirty-three. Okay, three lakh thirty-three thousand three three three. That amount yes. will be taxable. Okay. Okay. Did you understood? I mean, did yes, you understand? Sorry. हो गया ये सब कुछ समझ में आया. This much I hope you have understood. Yes. Did you understand? Yes. yes See. See, I will give you a shortcut method. Government employee ho ya other employee ho. Commuted pension, uncommuted pension, sab ko taxable hota. Uncommuted pension is taxable to both of them, who government employee and private employee. Uncommuted pension is taxable to both of them. Nothing is exempted. Nothing. Okay. Government employee, if he opt, if he is opting for commuted pension. If he takes commuted pension, then it is fully, then it is fully exempted. It is fully exempted. Government employee. Now other employees. If he takes commuted pension, if he takes commuted pension, and if he has received uh, the amount of gratuity, one third of total pension will be exempted. Without gratuity, half of the total pension will be exempted. Is it clear, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So it was given in the, uh, I mean, it was not given in the chart form. So I've given you that way. So it will be easily understood. No, that is why I have given you this way. So you can consider this way, or you can read it from there. This part you can also read it. Example is also given to you here. So you can read it and uh, understand this. Ma'am, आप वो PDF group में डालोगे means Google Classroom पर. क्या? Yeah. तो जो आपने PDF chart form में सिखाया. आह uh, अच्छा हाँ ठीक है ना कोई problem नहीं मैं आपको पूरा ये जब खत्म हो जाएगा ना ये मैं आपको पूरा दे दूँगी uh, don't worry. अभी के लिए तो YouTube channel से आप refer कर सकते हैं. मुझे ये पूरा कर लेने दीजिए अभी और भी points हैं ना. तो पूरा yes. करके फिर मैं आपको देती हूँ इनफेक्ट आपको चाहिए तो ग्राफिटी का भी ऐसा एक चार्ट बनाकर देती हूँ okay, तो you, आपके लिए इजी हो जाएगा ना चार्ट में पढ़ने का इज इट ओके चलो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पे आते हैं अभी लीव सैलरी सेक्शन टेन सब सेक्शन टेन ए ए That is leave salary. ये देखो यहाँ पे दिया हुआ है leave salary. देखो ठीक है तो पहले मतलब ये हमारा अभी next point है fourth point. This is our fourth point. ये third क्यों ले रहे हैं? ये है आपका leave salary. अब ये लीव सैलरी क्या होता है कोई बताएगा लीव सैलरी क्या होता है लीव सैलरी क्या होता है टेल यू सपोज सपोज इन अ कंपनी थर्टी डेज इन अ ईयर थर्टी डेज इन अ ईयर यू आर ग्रांटेड फ्री फ्री लीव्स फ्री लीव्स मींस आप है ना छुट्टी ले सकते हैं आपका पैसा नहीं कटेगा 